Hello everyone, uh, this is Mike from Dynamic Point. Thank you so much for joining our webinar. Um, it looks like we're right about at time, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, today's webinar is automating AP invoice data extraction uh, using Azure AI. So it'll be a, a look at AP automation in general, but specifically focusing on how we could use um, the Azure AI component of it for the data extraction. Quick introduction to who Dynamic Point is. So Dynamic Point builds apps on top of Office 365. Um, so we've been around since 2009. And you can see we have a little bit of a history that predates us, um, but this is where we are today. All of our products are Office 365 based apps, of which we have um, several applications. We have a portal product, um, uh, employee expense reimbursement, but the one that we're really um, looking at today in conjunction with this Azure AI component is this product right here by the name of EasyAP365. This application basically automates the invoice receipt, workflow, um, optical character recognition or OCR, AP management, and ultimate ERP integration for accounts payable invoices. So that'll be the backbone of what we're looking at today uh, in conjunction with just standard Office 365 technology. Okay, let's look at this process um, before we dive into the details here. Um, so from an AP invoice automation process, there's usually three sort of major steps, if you will. The first step is I need to get the invoice from the vendor. So we'll call this step one. Um, but basically what it entails is all kinds of different methods that a vendor can submit a AP invoice to my organization for payment. And that could include email, a check request, um, they could do a mobile upload or a contractor can, uh, I could do a portal entry, all kinds of good stuff as far as flexibility and how ultimately I'm going to get this invoice to this library. And this will lead us to step two in the process of AP automation, um, loosely what we're calling processing and workflow. So this is gonna entail our application, which is gonna do all kinds of good financial things such as PO matching, um, assignment of accounts and other dimensions, um, if it's a non-PO, um, use of templates, and then ultimately it's gonna call workflow using Power Automate as the backbone for workflow. And that's gonna get us ready for the third and final step that we're gonna bring this invoice into our accounts payable system ready for payment. So that's the ultimate goal of all of this is everything is coming before both the uh, receipt of the invoice, the processing of it, the approval, and then ultimately we're gonna pass that to the ERP application for payment and posting. So let's look at one specific um, receipt method, and that is it coming from email. So we're gonna focus on email as being our example today. So we're gonna start with Outlook, and we're gonna get an invoice that's to a shared APN box. And we're gonna get this invoice, and we're gonna submit it to Azure AI for OCR. That's the focus of today is using this tool to extrapolate all of the data from this invoice that has been sent to a share, shared AP uh, inbox. And then we're gonna store this information in SharePoint. So that's gonna be our initial focus and we're gonna accomplish all of this using our friend Power Automate. And so Power Automate is the workflow tool provided by Microsoft um, and it is going to be the brain or the engine, if you will, for handling this automation process for us. So with no further ado, let's go ahead and switch over and get started. Okay, let's first look at the workflow um, before we test it. So this is a really simple um, Power Automate workflow. And we're gonna go through each step. And then of course, we're gonna submit an invoice as if we were being a, uh, pretending to be a vendor. And we're gonna watch it in action. So the first step, um, which you can see at the very top here, is the trigger. And this is when a new email arrives. Um, and the inbox that I'm using here is essentially my shared inbox. Um, 
by which vendors would submit invoices. So you can see here, I'm gonna move it or I'm gonna um, route it to a specific folder here called Azure OCR. You don't, of course, have to do that, but after this process is I sort of wanna move it to a location so it gets out of my inbox um, with all my other emails. So that's the trigger that I wanna use for the workflow. So it'll kick off as soon as I get a, an invoice coming in from a vendor. And then the next step you see here is I wanna extract the information from the invoice and this calls a pre-built um, Azure AI document intelligent template for invoices. And before we go any further, I could sh show this to you. So you could actually try this out. Um, there's a simple link that I could provide here and you could actually go into this dashboard and upload your own invoice. And ultimately what we're doing here is we're just really testing out what we're gonna do as part of our workflow just so we could show you how this tool works. So let's go ahead and upload a new invoice. And we'll go ahead and pick this one. And as you can see, it's uploaded and now I could run the analysis. What you're gonna see here is the results of Azure AI performing OCR, OCR optical character recognition and extracting all of this data here on the right hand side that you see. As, you, as well as you can see it highlighted, right? So here's all the tidbits of information that it was able to recognize on this PDF and it put it over here for me. And our workflow is gonna have access to all of this. So that's the cool thing is our workflow is gonna be able to use any of this information um, to ultimately save it to the library, as well as you know, use it for things down, down the road, such as account determination or workflow. Um, really whatever I want to will now be readily available to me because it's no longer buried in an image, it's now data. Okay, so that was this step. And then I'm going to take that information and basically save it to a SharePoint library. So you could see here, I'm gonna create a file when I create a file, I really don't have the ability to manipulate um, that much metadata. I could create a file name as well as the content, and then I have to go update it. So it requires two steps, essentially one to pass the actual invoice to SharePoint, and then the second is to take all of the results of OCR, and here you can see this is what I've mapped, a from, company name, subject, invoice number, amount, date, PO number, just a few to, to give you an example. Of course, you could do a heck of a lot more than this. Um, and that's gonna kick off not only receiving the invoice, but saving that data to a library so I could then use it for further processing. So now that we've walked through this, um, let's submit an invoice and see it in action. Okay, so again, I'm pretending to be a vendor here. And I have an invoice attached to an email. And I'm gonna send that to my accounts payable inbox, which you can see here I have labeled just as OCR at dynamicpoint.com for the sake of testing. Um, and I'll give it a subject of a consulting invoice. And I'll go ahead and send this. Okay, so if I go into this workflow, we can see it's running now. And we're gonna see each step hopefully uh, process successfully here. We got the new email, it extrapolated all my information and it created the file directly in SharePoint. So if I switch over to SharePoint and I go into that library really quick, I should see hopefully the results. There it is, the invoice was captured. And you can see all of the data that was extrapolated by um, Azure OCR has been saved to columns. And then if I refresh, you're actually gonna see this invoice disappear. There you go, as you can see, it's gone. And that's because it's been picked up by our application for the processing of it. So we're gonna go look at that next. So if I go back to the SharePoint site and click on the processing queue, what we're gonna see is all those invoices that are being picked up from that library after 
Azure OCR was complete. So this is actually the first time you're seeing the dynamic point application as part of this process. Everything else I was just showing you is just standard um, Office 365 functionality. But what our application has done is taken that invoice, which we could see here. In this case, it applied a template to define accounts, such as the expense type and the department um, that's assigned to it. If this was a PO invoice, it would have matched the PO items, but this one happens not to be. And you can see all the results of OCR have been mapped to the product, the, the date, the amount, um, the vendor status, et cetera, as well as you can see a warning here alerting me that this invoice is in fact a duplicate. As you can see, I've submitted a lot of times, um, so it's not unique in our system. If we wanted to look at what would happen with a PO invoice, um, it would just have different types of line items associated to it. So as opposed to allocation line items where defining the, the general ledger account, it would actually pick up the PO number from the invoice and assign PO items directly from the ERP. So it would look more like this where it's a PO match as opposed to the one we submitted, it's coming over just as allocation items. Let's go ahead and get rid of this warning. I'm going to give it a unique number associated to this. So we'll put in something like that. It'll go ahead and recheck, make sure that invoice is unique. So now you can see the status has been submitted, um, updated to not submitted because I actually changed it. And I'm going to kick off a, a workflow. And what I want to do is I want to submit this for approval. So I want to submit it to like a manager to take a look at this invoice to validate um, that in fact it's correct. And then it can obviously move forward from there. Um, by the way, this can occur automatically, right? As soon as that invoice is picked up, I could kick off the workflow on it. But in a lot of cases, Accounts Payable wants to sort of see the results, make sure everything looks good and then initiate a workflow. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm taking a little pause and I'm gonna go ahead and hit submit. And as you can see, I got an approval that workflow has been submitted on it. And what that has kicked off is a Power Automate approval process. So now I have to be a manager in the system who's going to go review this invoice and make sure it's valid. And to do to the reviewer aspect, I'm gonna bring over my email. And here you can see the reviewer has received a new notification that an invoice is ready for approval. On their email, you can see the attachment of the invoice has been included, some key data, and the ability to approve or reject it directly from the email. You notice here that I also included a link. Sometimes reviewers um, have to edit this as it's going through the workflow. So by clicking the edit link, it's actually gonna drive me back to a review page and on this review page, I'm going to have permissions applied to determine what I can edit and if I could edit it at all. Okay. The other option, if I don't want to review this from email, um, there's also a Teams apps um, for these approval actions. So if I open up my Teams here and I go to my approvals app, You can see I have that same task assigned in Teams. So again, I have the ability to edit it, look at the invoice, as well as approve or reject it directly from Teams. So let's go ahead and approve this. Put in a comment. And what that's gonna do is move it forward in the workflow. And for the sake of demonstration, didn't want to spend too much time reviewing workflow, mine is only a single step approval process. So with that single step, that essentially completes um, the reviewer component of this. Um, but if I go back over to the dashboard, and I'm gonna hit refresh here. We're gonna see my invoices disappeared. It's not actually gone, it's just being filtered out. and you can see the status is now updated to submitted. And what that means, it's actually been integrated with the ERP upon the final step in approval process. But if I expand this invoice, what I'll see here on the audit log is it's gonna show me every step in that workflow, who it got submitted to, who approved it or rejected it. Obviously I'm logged in as one account, I'm the dynamic point demo account, so you're seeing only a single user here. 
um, but in real life it would show every user that's part of that workflow process. And then if you recall, I put in a review, which would be captured in the notes section. So that's the review I put in. And the last tab that came to life here that's um, showing us the final results of this workflow is the ERP details. And what this is going to provide us is the transaction that was created in real time upon the final step in the workflow process in the ERP. As you can see, I integrated this one with Business Central. We have integrations with several ERPs. So if you're not using Business Central, don't worry. Um, we integrate to virtually every large uh, ERP out there. But I will show you the transaction in Business Central just for the sake of the full circle. And if I go to my invoices and do a quick search, we'll see that invoice is created in a real-time fashion. Um, all of the line items of the invoice coming over, as well as we provide a link back to the invoice in SharePoint. And if I click that link, it's going to take me back to the review page. And on this review page, I could do all kinds of stuff. I could look at the invoice associated to it, uh, any supporting attachments, the audit log, as well as the notes. So that's essentially it. That completes um, those steps that we set out to cover. And we'll revisit them um, just one more time. The receipt, we focus solely on email for the sake of today. Um, we used Azure AI to extrapolate the information. We saved it to a library. Our application picked it up. Um, for the sake of the demo today, we looked at a non-PO invoice, but they're very similar. Created the invoice, submitted it for a standard tier approval using Power Automate. We did that review from Teams, and upon that final review, the invoice automatically got created in the ERP application. So hopefully it's it's fairly obvious that you know a lot of what I'm showing you today is just using this technology that our customers um, already own, that you already own as an Office 365 and uh, Microsoft Azure customer. A lot of this is already at your fingertips. And that's really our whole point of these applications is we're not building it all from scratch. We're using the technology that our customers have already purchased from Microsoft. And then taking that approach, we're able to offer a much more flexible solution at really a fraction of the cost of the competitors out there because we're not creating all of this from scratch. So hopefully that was clear in my demonstration. So that's all the uh, time we had for today. Um, thank you so much for joining. If you have any questions, um, we've put up a info at dynamicpoint.com uh, email as well as our um, site. And there's all kinds of um, recorded demos on there as well that you can take a look at, as well as if you're interested in a live demo, um, we are happy to do so.